Hello everyone, if you are new to our channel, hit subscribe. Your subscription will motivate me to produce more video in better quality. Let me explain what is our requirement. We will be having a, a container inside our storage account and we will be receiving six different images which will be like air quality and precipitation and temperature of various cities. So here we have Chennai and Kochi. Likewise, we will be having a multiple cities uh, data and these files needs to be uh, latest every day. Let's say for example, before 10 a.m. UTC, these file needs to be updated so that UI will show the latest images. Every day, these images will be overwritten. Uh, these will be done by either some third party team or some automated task. We need to check if these are latest. If it is not, then we need to send an email to a specific email ID. So here in this example, if you see, on the last modified column these are like older images and this is the latest one so today is 28th and this is the only latest image rest of them seems to be old so we need to pick up the file name of these uh, images and we need to send out a mail so what we are going to do first of all we are going to list out what are the images available inside this and we are going to find out their last modified on based upon it we are going to send out an email so this is our requirement let's jump to logic app to start implementing I have created this logic app. If you don't know how to create a logic app, please watch my introduction video about it. Now I am in logic app designer. Let me create a blank logic app and go under all and look for schedule because we are going to run this every day around 10 a.m. Uh, IST. So this is the connector. Let me select this and we here we have recurrence and sliding window which we have already covered in our uh, separate video. Let me select recurrence and I'm going to run daily once uh, which means day and here under additional parameter I need to pass at which time it has to run at these hour so we can select this and from this drop down you can select at which time you need to run so it's around 10 a.m. IST so let me select this we have specified this but we need to specify a uh, time zone as well right so now to do it just go under here and select the time zone and now in the time zone uh, drop down i'm going to select ist this this one let me select this now let's save i'm going to create two variables of type array one for holding older file name and another for holding new file name so let me create it very quickly Let me name the task as well. I'm going to do the same for a older file as well. Now we need to list out what are the images available inside this, right? So let me go here and click on add a action and under all look for blob so this is the connector let me select this and we have various operations to perform so all we need is list blob let me select this we need to provide a name to our connection let me provide a name and from the authentication type we have multiple option i'm simply going with access keys here we need to provide the storage account name and the storage account access keys let me go over here and we can find the storage account name under here or you can just simply copy here let me select this and we need to provide the access key as well let me click on show copy now let me click on create here we need to select the storage account name from the drop down and here we need to provide which blob we need to look for meaning like from which container we need to do so let me select and select my uh, container name that's it let's save and run it got completed let me select this and here under output if you see we got some data let me select all and copy and let me put in a notepad so here if you see we got all the images what are we have in our blog and we got 
the metadata of the metadata in the sense the name display name path even last modified on so this is the data we need size everything we are getting up from this property itself we don't need any specific uh, you know task other than this list itself it is displaying all the information now let's jump to our logic app let me go to designer what we need to do we need to uh, you know pick up this last modified and we need to compare with the current date and we need to check whether this is latest or not right if we compare with the today's date we will get to know whether this is latest images or not so not to do it let me copy this to a separate tab in notepad okay now let me minimize here add action go to control and look for condition so this is what we need if condition if it is latest do this if it not latest then do this likewise we are going to do let me select this and here we have a parameter to specify so just select this and here if you see this it is automatically showing up whatever the you know items available uh, to this particular action so if you scroll down we could find everything uh, related to whatever see in uh, whatever we see in the output and here last modified so this is what we want so just select this and if you see this it is automatically creating true or false flow and it automatically created a for each loop as well because it knows that for this type of condition it uh, it need an uh, you know kind of for each because there will be multiple items inside the blob so now just click here and select this let me copy to a notepad so this will return uh, this complete value right so this is what we saw over here but all we need is only uh, the date part we don't need time stamp and all right this is not record all we need is date part so in order to extract uh, you know date part then only we can compare right so in order to extract it what we need to do is just remove this under expression under string function just click on see more and you will find substring so we need to pass the text which we need and what is the starting index and how much length we need so select this let me copy this to notepad let me maximize okay so first we need to pass the source string which is this one i'm ignoring at that is not required comma from which index we need do we need from here or do we needing or do we need from start we need from the start right so put it as zero and how many uh, characters we need so till here it is 10 characters so 10 so this is the exact uh, you know expression we need just simply copy it just remove this paste and click on ok now here we need to specify uh, whether it is equal greater than something like that we need is equal to and here type it as utc now so this will return uh, UTC uh, current date and time, time. Why I am using UTC is because uh, the task which we ran, right? This is returning time in UTC, so I am providing it. If you want to uh, do some conversion, you can do so. Okay, as of now, I am going with UTC now. And here, y, y, y hyphen. This is for year, month, and then date. So this will return the date part alone in this expected format date part alone let me click on ok we should be good and under true let me go under built in under variables I am going to append to this array variable because we don't want to overwrite every time we just need to append it so if it is true means if date is matching it means it is a new file so let me select this and which value we not and which value we need to save it here the file name right so from here select display name and similarly do the same for older file as well now let's save and run and if you scroll down so for each of them for the first file it is a latest so it is going under here uh, which is for Chennai air quality which is the latest file and for rest of them it will go under false 
and now let's quickly do our emailing task let's go to designer let me create a new variable of type string go under built in let me select variables initialize a variable and this is of type string and let me provide a name and the value is going to be whatever we are getting from this older files for emailing I am going to use outlook I need to send an email let me sign in Let me quickly fill these values. And here just click on see more and select the email content. And that's it. Let's save and run. It got completed and this is what uh, it has been sent in the email let me go here we got the email as well and that's it if you find this video helpful do hit like and subscribe so that youtube will recommend this video to multiple user i will be providing the code part of this logic app in our telegram channel so that you can just copy paste here in our code view or you can just refer whatever the values we have given here do follow me on linkedin to stay connected thank you